Hello, good afternoon. My name is Sandra and I'm here for business. And let's start with the free zones and roads linking some free zones may soon get a facelift following the appointment of a consultant to scout for road contractors for work to commence. This follows consistent complaints by some industries about the poor state of roads in their zones, resulting in poor productivity. Speaking to Joy Business, Ebenezer Sabote, Chief Executive of Secretary of the Free Zones Authority, Michael Beff, he says work will soon begin on all its enclaves across the country. We, are, we have given you the chance to be able to make more money, but how much have we benefited from it? I want you to comment on the road uh, infrastructure that I raised earlier. You said you were engaging a consultant, mm. you advertised. I want you to touch on it briefly. How soon are we going to get this? Done? Oh, no, the, the consultant have been appointed. So we are, I think they are going, they started to work last week or so. I forgot the next, exactly. They have been appointed. So, I mean, now, after the uh, preparatory work and the, the, the final report, We'll, they can now give us the, the chance to please advert for a contractor. Then we appoint a contractor. Then we take off. All right, so we call them the three wise folks. It's Odelia, Philip, and Norvan. But today, Norvan is missing in action, but we'll be breaking it down and we are doing issues relating to money laundering. Let's go for OPN. Hi, my name is Philip Nanfuri. My name is Odelia and Tiamwa. Today we're missing out on the end. Wait. I'm not sure. Plays yeah. out. <laughs> anyway. So we are talking about money laundering and we just be wondering. I personally do not know what it is, the layers that comes with it, but what Philip just tells me is that is dirty money made clean. Philip, what's money laundering? Okay. Okay, okay. There's some money in your pocket. Yes, so I was I was able to gather whoa, I think my money is missing. No, it's in your back pocket. No, it's not here again. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's here. <laughs> so this is money I got from my colleague Sandra uh -huh. and Aben. Now, so simple. Imagine these were my proceeds from my sale of narcotics. And I'm not saying I did narcotics, please. Now this is the sale from narcotics. Hypothetically speaking, I go into the bank and I deposit it, placement. They don't know. There's also another method that is used called smurfing, where you separate up the money into bits. So you have one bit here, you deposit it in one bank, you take another bit, deposit it in another bank, and then the last bit in another bank. You reduce... I have four bank accounts, I'm not smurfing because... Well, well, like well, 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 well yes, them. well, maybe you want to diversify your risk. And it's, 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 it's natural mm -hmm. to have a multiplicity of bank accounts. So that in case one bank is not really doing well for you, you quickly move to the other. Yeah. At some point, the man had four accounts, like you. Yeah. But I closed two down, and now I have only two. Okay, I have three. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, so, well. but we're not smurfing, please. I just opened them for various reasons. But yes, if deposits are coming in very large, you can't trace the source, then you should be worried. So what some of these bad guys do is to break up the money into bits and reduce the suspicion of a financial institution that this money that's coming in is illegal. And as I told you earlier, you just break it into bits and pieces. That's a smurfing. So that's for placement. Then. After it goes into the deposits or into my deposit account, then I buy some T-bills, I buy some stocks. That's the layering. Then I start getting returns on these T-bills and stocks. That's the integration. It becomes part and parcel of the financial system. And we can no longer tell whether this is legal or this is illegal. Then that's what you call money laundering. Okay, okay. On that note, OPN ends today with discussions on money laundering. My name is Odilia. And my name is Philip. We're missing out on Melbourne. Thanks. Bye. So that was OP without end today. And that's how we end business this afternoon. But there's more business news with Emmanuel Abwajim Riafe on the marketplace. My name is Sandra Isenamapenu.